at it again with some more Knights of the Old Republic. As you may know, uh, this was one of the first games I ever got for myself. I remember opening it Christmas morning with the original Xbox, and I got this game with the promise of either being good or evil, following the Jedi path. Now, this is like 2004. Episode 2 had just come out, um, Clone Wars. Every uh, young boy's dream was to become a Jedi, you know? It's just what you did. And so this game promised so much to live in that world and to sort of surround yourself with it. Now, as I've gotten older, I've learned that um, a lot of the mechanics that make this game tick are taken from Dungeons and Dragons. There's a lot of D20s and a lot of the like story structure seems to come from like a Dungeons and Dragons campaign set in the world of Star Wars, which is so uh, super freaking cool. So anyways, if you're curious what mods I'm using, I've modded this game to get some HD textures and, you know, a lot. I've got exclamation point mods, I think, will work. Yeah, so those are all the mods I'm using. And I've also got a little story one, too, to explain why I'm doing this. I uh, want to see if this game still holds up. But anyways, uh, we're dropping frames like crazy. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Fifteen second lag now. Seven twenty P. Could try it. I'm wondering what the what the spikes are. It seems to have gone away right now. I don't think it's an I don't think it's an internet issue. Let's let's uh, jump into the game and see what happens. Um, we left off last, um, we just dropped by a Sith party and got some Sith armor, which is pretty cool, and then, uh, we were gonna go explore some more stuff on Taurus, so let's do that. We're currently crash-landed on Taurus, which is a Sith-controlled and occupied area. Um, we, there's a lockdown in place and quarantine, so there's nobody getting off world, and we're trying to find Basila, who, with her battle meditation technique, could turn the tides of the war between the Sith and the Republic. And we got, so we're on the upper city, and we need to get to the under city, and there's a lower city between that. Fifteen to thirty frames per second. I haven't gotten any drops recently, so fingers crossed. We're good to go now. I've got a ton of things to do today. I can't talk to you. Okay, I 
have not gone in here yet. Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need something. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I will not have it said that Zelka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terras. Do you require healing or medical Looks supplies? Looks pretty smooth at the moment. Okay. Oh, yeah. any injury or ailment it's right so here strange. I don't know what changed. Except I haven't that. really touched my setup. The terrible affliction has plagued Terras for many generations. It is spread by the Rack Ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into Rack Ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Uh, that's not pleasant. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. Might be able to help you out for a price. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a Rat Ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Well, it looks like we're finding some Rat Ghoul serum. Don't worry. Please, don't say that! If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. And that they could shut me down. Kosh Vader with the tier one sub. Let's go. Keeping that party going. Get me the serum. Sixteen months. Holy crap. That's a year of some change. Thank you, thank you. As always, much appreciated. Even when things aren't going well, could use some healing. I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but. I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. What would you like to know? I know enough to be scared of them. I've heard about the brutality of the Sith. I know what they do to the planets they conquer. So far, all they've done is ask me some general questions, but I'm afraid they might one day decide to shut this facility down simply out of evil spite. I guess there's not much I can do about the Sith. Except hope that the Republic finds a way to stop their conquest of the entire galaxy. I am quite busy maintaining the facility. How do you feel about the Sith? I don't know much, but I'll tell you what I can. Do you want to know about Upper Terrace? Or are you more interested in Lower Terrace and the Undercity? The Undercity is a wasteland crawling with flesh-eating mutants called Rat Goons. I feel sorry for the outcasts that are forced to live there. It's like Jade Empire, the main character doesn't speak. That's true. I think Commander Shepard was probably one of the first characters to actually be able to speak uh, in this kind of a game. It was revolutionary. Justice here on Terrace is swift and harsh. There are only two punishments. Execution but this or is sort of the norm for the, for the main character Anyone not banished speak. can never return on pain of death. Even their descendants are forced to live in the depths beneath yeah, our Yeah, very cities. true. Whenever I can, the I voice acting makes it that much better, I feel. Lives. Although there is nothing I can do to help those infected with the rectal disease. The people here in the upper city generally like to think they're better than the rest of Terrace, but we're no better than anyone else. The people here can be selfish, greedy, arrogant, even prejudiced. That's why aliens need special permission to leave the lower city. Maybe if more people in the upper city weren't so self-centered, things wouldn't be so bad in the lower city and the undercity. The lower city has been overrun by swoop gangs and thugs. If you're going to travel down there, you'd better go armed. If you don't get attacked by one of the swoop gangs, you'll probably end up beaten and robbed by one of Davik's thugs. Soon it will be as bad as the undercity. Davik is the resident crime lord of Terrace. 
He deals in stolen goods, he trades in slaves and contraband, and it would take a month to list all the people he's made disappear. His slimy grasp even reaches here into Upper Terrace. Most of the shops that pay their protection money, so you leave crazy them alone. Yeah, the man is nothing but a thug. I guess I'm lucky. So like that everyone has an opinion doesn't make on any him. Profits, Davik doesn't bother me. But if you ask me, he's no better than the Sith. I am quite... Yeah, I know you're quite busy. Do you know anything about the Republic escape pods? Republic pod? escape pods? I, no. Why would you ask me that? I don't know. Oh, he knows Pods something. crashed in the Undercity. I'm not involved in any way. <laughs> Are you sure about that? You seem awfully defensive. The Sith were already here, asking these same questions. Damn, my persuade failed? Them. I don't know anything about those pods. Now, is there something else you need? I am... You can always just... Republic escape? Go down the same tree. I'm not defensive. I just don't like being accused of knowing something about those Republic pods. This is as bad as an interrogation by the Sith. Don't worry, I'm not with the Sith. I won't betray you. Well, you don't look like okay, with we succeeded Sith. there. Uh, I guess I can tell you my secret. Or rather, I can show you. There we go. I remember this being back here. Big moment. Since the space battle overhead, people there it is. secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. I hate I to imagine this. what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. It's going to cost you. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Light side point scan, let's go! A little, uh, a little dialogue opener over here. Wait. Where's Kara? You there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the Rakul serum. I've got an offer for you. I don't have Karth with me. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rakul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Hmm, but maybe he should give it away. Look. Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. Davik isn't the kind of guy you can just walk up to, you know. He likes to keep his business at arm's length. The best thing to do is to take the Rakul serum to Zax. He runs the Lower City Bounty Office, but everyone knows he also works for Davik. You'll make it worth your while. If you find the Rakul serum, I'm not going to do it for him. I'm helping himself for the office. For he sure. For Get those light side He'll points. You How big the cure is really worth. Uh, I guess I didn't bring Karth with me by accident. There he is. Easy. You just swap out party members like that. It's pretty cool. So this guy's just like a healer. I guess I can get healed over there. I heard the gangs have overrun the lower city. Why don't the Sith go down there and restore order? Um, Cantina's over here. I could do the whole... Or, wait. This is the Upper City Apartments. Where the party was. 
Yeah. Don't need to go back there. Coming to, huh? Yep. Swami's just walking around the upper city. Swami's. Since you got to Lars says you belong, Swami. This is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for oh, upper you city look familiar. citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Hey guys, we can all be friends here. Let me buy you a drink. Uh, come on, fellas. This Swami ain't worth the bother. Uh, uh. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe next time, Slummy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. So funny. They're just all throwing. <laughs> Good times. Good times. Oh, here's another interaction. All right. A plague spreads through our streets. We cannot sit idly by while this pox infects our society. He sounds familiar. Friends and fellow humans, I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gotham Cole. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. I am speaking of the hideous looking aliens who walk the world of Taris. The Wookiees and Ephorians and Rhodians and Bith, all of them. Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, mm. Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. Anti-Alien We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet. So, old man, how many times do we have to teach you? Back off, you crazy kook. I don't have time for this. Good luck in your crusade. We should slaughter the whole bunch of them. You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Come on, we should keep moving. Cook or no, people like him can make trouble for us. You're right. You're right, Karth. Keep me out of trouble. The Sith wouldn't be so bad if they'd let us leave the planet. This quarantine. Droid shop. Mucha Shaka Baka. King Kun Shi Kaikachin. A customer, come in, come in. Janice Nail at your service. Welcome to my droid and droid supply shop. Always good to see a new face. Customers are hard to come by. A lot of the Tara citizens won't even come in here. They refuse to shop at a store owned by a Twi'lek. Kipuna, Bonana Kichu. They don't like aliens much here in the upper tower, so tolerate us too much, but they'd rather see us as dancers and cantinas as business owners. Hmm. Speak the truth. People would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. I guess stupidity and ignorance will never go out of style. Ugh. You said it, Kart. You'll see a few aliens around, but most of the non-humans stick to the lower city. I've learned not to dwell on it. Though, I try to stay focused on running my store. My selection is a bit limited right now. The Sith confiscated all my assault droids. But I've got a utility droid you might find interesting. What don't they do? They're great at making vehicle repairs for starters. Pretty handy to have in a fight. Small but tough with a surprising amount of firepower. And there's better code breaker security systems that's around. Not that I've ever condoned you. Doing anything illegal, of course. I've only got two G T3H8 unit for 50 credits and a top of the line T3M4 model with all the options. But he's not for sale. Give him to me. Ever built, top notch code breaker, expert security programming, and droid repair skills. He's even got the firepower to be handy in battle. Yeah, I want that one. 
Mucho shaka paka. This little guy is an absolute top of the line, but he's not for sale. He's a custom job. I'm holding for a very special buyer. I don't think I can help you with your questions. I don't go out much. I prefer spending time with my droids than mingling with Tower Citizens. People are saying a few of the pods crashed down in the Undercity. I blame it on human error. A droid wouldn't control a ship like that. How do you feel about the Sith? Very special buyer. I did the uh, reconditioning on himself. Don't worry. I'll follow you everywhere. Don't forget my Stormato. If you need droid parts, Janice Nails, your gal. I thought T3M4 is the one I get. But maybe it's T3H8. It does not sound good. Supposed to come with me. There he is. Should be part of my I I think he doesn't I think if I walk out here. Yeah, he, he just... Another good old Star Wars callback. Um, excuse me. Hello, your droid just exploded on me. It blew up. <laughs> oh, I thought I was taking care of that old... Uh, well, don't worry, I run an honest business here. Oh, that's what I don't want to get a reputation for poor service. Service business is tough enough I want your other droid. How do I get him? I know he's my guy. Oh, oh, we're dropping. Drop some frames there. If the fan crowd funded KOTOR animated YouTube series is real, looks pretty cool. I gotta check it out. I didn't. I remember you mentioning that last time. I haven't looked at it yet. Okay, she gives me 75 credits. I know I can get him. He's my guy. Well, we'll keep going. I think there's something that comes up where I can, uh,. I can acquire him. Teaser trailer. Or we'll check it out in a sec. I think this is the lower city. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. And it's I have... obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to get them. Now quit wasting my time and move along. I'm not here to give you information. I work for the Sith, not the Taurus Taurus board. Now just move along, unless you have the proper authorization papers. So I think I can wear the armor to get past him there, but we'll keep exploring here. Looks like the, the starport. Here's the Sith military base that I could break into. So the serum 
for the rat pool disease either in the Sith military base or in the lower city. I've got the I've got the armor, so let's let's just try that. There's nothing you can do about it right now. Okay. Where is it? There it is. Uh, Sith armor. There we go. Looking good. Car. Um. Yes. What's on your mind? You got it. Or maybe, let's see if I can bring him. Alright. Going to the lower city. Another patrol heading down to the lower city, eh? Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough. Because he just there. doesn't care about big cars. Swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. Nice. We made it past him. Go into the lower city. And then... Let's switch back. And my combat suit. Defense bonus, max dexterity bonus. It also says this full body armor could be used to fool people into thinking the wearer was one of the Sith. Defense bonus four. Oh yes. Karatumpa kunpa yiya mokapata. Flex are nothing but bantha fodder. The Volkers are strong. We'll teach you who's strongest. This this took me so long to figure out how to do. Drop the frames. Kipuna Kabatumpa Kupa Yiya Mokapata. Party members is down. Oh. Let's go. Let's 
I got a lot of health. Oh shit. Okay. I got him. Okay. We did it on our first try. Easy. Car gets back up. Vulcan shock stick. And now we're super weak. And we don't heal, we have to use med packs. Uh-huh. Oh, car, what the fuck? Come on, man. There we go. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Is this a good time to ask questions? No. It's not a good time. Uh, better with blasters still, so. Ready. I get to this. Just maybe it's the shortcut here. Zero? No. One. No. Who knows? Carts blaster. Carts blaster. There we go. Iron blaster's good against a droid, so let's just give him a regular one. What's my skill level? What is my skill level? Is that I don't even know where to find that. I'm uh we're level four. Sure. Sure. Well, these guys are dead. Twi'lek corpse that way. Ah, cool. Got some med packs. Oh, some more guards. What? Your main character can go down. I like that. Ready. Oh. Oh. And that's the game. <sighs> Gotta do this again. Save scrub to the max. Oh, wait. What is the shortcut here? Equip parentheses? Is it D? No. Yes? We will skip through this dialogue here. Again. They're all running up to each other. There you go. Oh. Oh. Kipuna. Ready. Oh. All right, we 
We all went down that time. <laughs> See how hard it is? It's like, it sucks because it's turn based, right? I can't really do a lot, and this is also one of the harder fights. I'm also really bad with swords, so maybe I just have Karth take all the damage here. The prototype vibroblade and vibroblade combo seem to do well. Let's save it here. True RPG. Oh yeah. And you can't skip them running up. Or this part. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, that just kills them instantly. Um, let's save there. I don't want to do that again. Ready. I, and this is also really hard too because you just have two people right now, and at max party size is three. What? I guess let's try this combo uh -huh. again. Yes? Fighting. Uh huh. I hope it is going well with you. What? A miss there. What? Alright, got Ready. him. Ready. Sure. He's coming for me now. Save it again. Okay, this is the Vulker base. I need to hack into it. Oh, 
it's so annoying to switch back and forth. Didn't I pick the feet? Treat injury, repair, persuade, awareness. Oh, scripts. Default attack. Huh. Yes? It's over here. Door. Lower city apartments. Okay. You like this game so much, oh? Oh, look at this tattered, ugly, disgusting apartment. It's pretty fun. I need to get a hang of the combat. Definitely. It's just all attacking me. Uh huh. The be a, the be a just... <laughs> Grenades? OP. OP. This thing hurts him too. Though. What? Oh my god. Ready. Lucky? Lucky duck there. Parts med pack. Everyone wants to fucking kill me. What? Bioware has just been riding their coattails with sequels and such. You just have to come out with fantastic ideas for games like KOTOR, Jade Empire, and the first Mass Effect. Yeah, it's a lot of front-end work. Let me, let me tell you. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Accidentally clicking on him. Oh my god. Poison grenade. Great. Are all these apartments just filled with people who want to kill me? Apparently. Ha! How'd you like that? <laughs> level up. I didn't think level up, uh, you get your health back. Um, obviously. Oh, wait. Charisma? For sure. Oh, I got one point. Skills. Persuade. I think I think my grenades work really well because I'm really good at demolitions. Anthem was their first new release in over a decade. I don't even know what Anthem is. That's how, that's how wonky, that's how bad it is probably. Yeah. Does Karth not level what? up? What? Uh -huh. What? Ready. I guess he levels up differently than me. 
Heavy Blaster, Energy Seal, Volker, Shock Stick. Guess I can try out these energy shields. Restricted to authorize you to activate the holograms in the proper order. Now, this is what I need. Detonation. Okay. I need to figure out the order. The Twisted Randor Trio. Is that required reading here? Got my Prezac deck. Guts and Glory, a chronicle of the amazing story of the Rancor. A work in progress. Famous band in the galaxy are surprisingly humble. The brains behind the group manager Glythos Uscaris founded the trio to earn a date and a young singer named Elinda. The ploy worked, and Elinda became the first member of the band. Glythos scrambled to find musicians back her and signed a Bith named Uja to be the lead musician. Soon after that, he signed Uja's brother, Uji, to complete the trio. The band struggled first. Linda was a fantastic singer, but Uja wasn't much of a musician. When Linda threatened to quit, Glythos fired Uja and signed another Blith named Lupa. Of course, this didn't go over well with Uja's brother, and Uji quit. Fortunately, Lupa knew another musician named Photo, who joined to replace Uji. Led by Olinda's singing, the second incarnation of the Twisted Rancor trio became quite popular on their home world of Taurus eventually attracting the attention of local legitimate businessman, David Kang. David David Kang. Asked Glythos to bring his group in for a command performance. Glythos agreed, realizing this could be the band's big break. Unfortunately, Linda had heard certain unsubstantiated rumors about David Kang and his connections to the exchange. Fearing for her life, she refused to go to his estate to perform. Many felt that without Alinda singing, the band would crumble, but Glythos came up with a brilliant plan to save the group by hiring Alinda's sister, Ashana, as a new lead singer on the eve of their scheduled performance. Glythos knew he was taking a risk. If Ashana could perform at Alinda's level, Davik's infamous temper could have dire consequences for the entire band. However, if Ashana could match her sister's performance, then Davik was likely to sign the band for the big time touring contract. It was a risk, but the Twisted Rancor Trio was founded on guts and glory. Okay, I think the order here. Gotta get out my pen and paper. I, f I feel like it would be the brains behind Glythos. I feel like Glythos would be first. Um, then, Alinda. Then, this named Uja. And then Uji. Gotta love these text-based puzzles. 
Get some water. I got some water. I got some water. No, but you're right. If you're drinking water over there. Fired him. And signed another Bith named Lupa. Lupa's next. And then after... Photo. And then they replace Alinda with Ashana. Great. Great. Let's see. Alright, how many are there here? You gotta activate them in the right order. Uj, yeah, okay, Uj is here. Um, that's Alinda. That's a Shauna. Oh shit. Blew up. I spent so much time. I was gonna get it too. I am drinking water like this. Oh, that's not water. Oh man. It's totally gonna get it. I guess it just hurts you. You still get all the stuff. Oh well. Yes. Hit the wrong one. Yes, what's on your mind? We read that whole story for nothing. You got it. Can you do? Uh, uh huh. All right, I want to. Where's this fiber armor? Okay, cool. And then Karth, you're getting the combat suit. Great, great. Yes. Cool. Love it. Low security door. No problem. Got it. Get Bona. Kava tumpa kupa yiya moka paata. Chibedwana nipo. None of your business. Just turn around and go back the way you came. If you know what's good for you. Are you in some sort of trouble? Do you want to talk about it? They'll probably find out on your own eventually anyway. Zax is giving his bounties away like candy or sorry here. My name is Matrick. I used to work for the exchange, but all the violence and killing started to get to me. I don't know what I was doing, I was wrong, so I turned state's evidence. My testimony helped put some of the biggest criminals on Taurus away for life, but Davik didn't like seeing his friends go down, so now he's got a bounty on my head. I don't think there's much anyone could do, and I'm getting sick of running. I've decided to take my stand right here. Maybe you should turn the tables. You know, have Davik eliminated. Maybe you could fake your own death. Oui. I've already thought of that. I even came up with a plan of how to do it, but I can't pull it off while I'm holed up in here. Tell me your plan. I might be able to help you out. The trick is getting Davik to buy it when there's nobody found at the scene. If it looks like I died in a massive explosion, he won't be suspicious when my corpse never turns up. I really want to help this guy fake his death. They were the one who set up the explosion to eliminate me. I think I'd be home free. I have some demolitions experience from my own days in the exchange, so I could set it all up, but I need to get my hands on a permacrate detonator. 
They don't usually sell them in the stores here in the lower city, but in the upper city, I might carry them. Okay. Let's do it. I can't believe I'm uh, helping him fake his own death. Sounds fun. Great. Alright, this gets out. Oh, can I- could I have activated the sentry droid? Ah, oh, repair the droid for one repair part. I feel like it's not worth it now. Or maybe it was. Down you go! Well, I explored the apartments, got another quest. Great. Let's save there. It's the elevator up. Let's see what's over here. Javiar's Cantina. Gee, we I thought got on Chicha. Don't have any trouble. Coming here to speak to anyone wants to throw the fancy surroundings in the upper city can't. But nobody up there carries the kind of pizzazz cards I sell. Oh. What are you talking about? Who are you? I know about Pizak. Show me what you have for sale. Ooh, plus or minus. That's good. Two hundred dollars. Mm. Plus or minus three. Hmm. Mm, that's a good Pizak card. Very tempting. I'm gonna come back. I'll come back. Greetings, stranger. My name is Gelrut. Are you a Pizak player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper City Cantina. What'd you do? How are you banned? A simple misunderstanding. Some of the other Pizak players don't understand the finer points of the game. So what if I win 15 matches in a row? That doesn't mean I cheat. There's no justice. My lucky Bazak deck was confiscated and I was banned from the upper cantina. Since then, I've been desperate to find a match. What? Excellent. My funds were getting. What you want to wager? I'll wager 20. Two cards left though. Oh. I think he's got this one. Minus five. Okay. 
Too good. Too good. Be eighteen. There you go. I won. Now we're just top decking. It's anyone's game. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. See, I don't need a good deck. I just need luck. Oh, a twenty. Holy shit! Hell yeah! Beat him first try! You did well in our last match, but I think your luck may be about to run out. So do you want to play again? Nah, I'm good. If you want to ask questions, go talk to Zax in the bounty office. He knows everything that's happening on Taurus. I'm just here to play for Zach. So do you want to play or not? So many Pazak players. If you're ever looking for a match and you get tired of posturing in the upper cantina, just come down here and find me. I'll play you anytime. Oh. oh, I know this guy. Go away. Cool. A. Kalonor. Nah, this can't be Kalonor. He's supposed to be tough. This guy's nothing but a run. One. He's counting to three. One? What do you mean? You be funny? Tough guys. You know who we are, Kalo? We are members of the Black Vulcan Gang. You don't want to be getting funny with us, tough guy. Why is he counting? Are you trying to count now how many of us is against him? It's three against one, Kalo. Who do you think? What do you think about those odds? Yeah, so the more to say? Three. some Bioware love today. What is all this? Knights of the Old Republic. Oh, there's another cut. A mission! Oh my goodness! I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells mission's like bamboo voodoo. Oh, mission's great. Little girl should not be in bar. This is no place for a little girl. If little girl smart, she run away home now. Who you call a little girl, tuba face? A little girl needs a lesson in manners. Just a sec, boys. Zalbar, a little help here. Zalbar! Oh my goodness! The whole party's back. I'm busy. They just bought my food. Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. We want no trouble with the Wookiee, our problem, you little girl. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friends, Big Z. I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Little girl lucky she has big friends. Oh, I'm very excited to talk to Mission right now. Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. We speak the same language. It's not that strange. 
Most aliens can speak basic. They just shout out playing that Genshin Impact. But I grew up here on Terra, so I've never played Genshin, but I always hear about it. You showed it. a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookie is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need. How do a Wookiee and a street leaf end up with best friends? We just fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zabar, it seemed like yes, a pretty good match. Yes, I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, it's so good I'm to see you too. To. I saw your stream Dad, earlier. I gotta check out your games. stream tomorrow or I whenever you're streaming next. That bounty hunter Callow Nord. Callow Nord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure callow has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. I tried it for the first time today. Been meaning to for a while, but picked up a sponsorship. Oh hell yeah! Who what's your who's sponsoring you? Who's sponsoring your stream? Mission Veo is a Commander Jupe origin story. Explain Bear. Dead by daylight at seven, so around four my time. Okay. Okay, I'll be on the lookout. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate. But I guess Intergalactic. Knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations. The Ebon Hawk. Oh, I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's you. fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have oh, a yeah, ship, that's he's got way it locked up here. in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the lower city. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor, Brezhik. When he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. Gadden considered that ungrateful space flag his adopted son. When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Rezik in his place. But Gadden figured Rezik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Rezik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Vex from the face of Terrace. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. Genshin Impact is just through stream elements, though nothing special. Yeah, 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 Bear. What are the deets? I mean, clearly I can see the similarities, but I'd like you to elaborate. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> I'm finished eating. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good Very to Very positive back. attitude. Okay. See you later, guys. We'll be in touch. Oh, they're playing Bazak. Nice. Jug. Jugacha. You stare like others here on Terrace? Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. You're a free.
Two voices create the name, and four years hear the, same, the true sound. Interesting. But your kind call our home Sorges, a small world off the uh, Parlemian trade route. Okay. Nothing that you'd hear at least. Mm. Now we're stuck. Interesting. Okay, okay. So we got a lead on a way off this planet, which is at Davik's estate. But we need to get Basila first. This game war is getting out of hand. The Valkyrs aren't just attacking the hidden Bex anymore. They go after everyone. Hold on. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Burn it with fire. Well, hello there, Tyler. Well, the fan of Fight, Fight Club, I see. But I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. Know what I mean? I didn't normally go for the alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. That alien reminds me of the movie Twins. That's a good one. That's a good one. I hear they're making a Twins 2, possibly, which would be very interesting. You know what I mean? I'm not really interested in your love life. My name's Holden. Maybe you've heard of me. I work for Davik Kang. Oh. I'm one of his top couriers. Davik's always sending me off planet to deliver and bring back packages. He knows you can Guys, me I'd see a twins too. To I think Plus, Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger are in their prime. So I know right now. all the tricks they use to catch smugglers. That gives me the edge I need on my courier runs. It's not like it's some big secret. It's kind of hard for Davik to keep a low profile when he belongs to a big intergalactic crime syndicate like the Exchange. Davik's ship is the fastest one in the entire quadrant. But even the Ebonhawk can't get off Taurus until the quarantine is lifted. The Sith fleet has the planet surrounded. Any ship leaving orbit without proper access codes will be disintegrated by the Sith auto-targeting laser cannons. And those codes are locked safely away in the military base. Davik's pretty upset about it. His smuggling operation isn't making any money, but even with his underworld connections, he can't get his hands on those codes. Hmm. Seems like we need to get some codes. Fine by me. That means I get to go back to enjoying the. All right. Mucha shakabaka. Mucha shakabaka. Ye ki kon no ba mulad raki I know how to speak toilet. Exchange my USD to jukebox. <laughs> Same here, let's go! Did I not go on the stream yet? I guess not. What are you bothering me? Can't you see him auditioning a dancer? Or at least I'm trying to audition her. Not much point if she doesn't have a partner. Names Bib Sarul, manager of Starlight Entertainers, top performing troop in this sector of the galaxy. I was here scouting new talent with the Sith attack, but now I can't leave. Seems to be a lot of similar stories here. But I guess they just don't appreciate the arts. So since I'm stuck here, I figure I might as well continue my audition. But I think I'm wasting my time. Lynn's got all the moves, but I need to know if she can pull them off to air the stage with her partner. Where's her partner? She doesn't have one. That's the problem. Are you listening to me? Dancers don't perform solo, so I need to see if she can work with someone else before I get her up on stage. I doubt she wants to dance with someone who wandered by. This is her one shot at the big time, and dancing with someone wannabe as her partner isn't going to help her cause. 
On the other hand, I'm not gonna hire her unless I can see her in action with a partner. Maybe she's desperate enough to give you a chance. You'd have to ask her. I guess. Man, I'm getting really involved with these people. Oh my. Oh yeah, I've seen Top Gun Maverick. I saw it twice. Saw it once with me and Katie, and then once with my parents, because I knew they were gonna love it. Um, I think it's breaking some box office records, which, you know, doesn't surprise me. This is my one shot at the big time, I can't risk screwing it up by talking to you. Oh, uh, what's the use? There's no way Bib's going to hire me unless he gets a chance to see me dancing with a partner. I'll dance with you. I admit, I'm getting desperate. I'd hate to blow this audition, but I don't know if I'm ready to just pair up with a random passerby. How do I know you're any good? How hard can it be? I'm good enough to get you through the audition. Well, you have a certain look about you, a confidence of movement. Sigh. I guess you'll have to do, but I'm warning you, don't screw this up. Mr. Shuru, I've got a partner now. Alright, you've got one more chance. I'll give you a minute to get your partner set up. Then let's see what you got. Follow my lead. Oh, am I gonna have to do something here? The more it will impress. Very close and face to face. Just remember, the Starlight actors don't want simple. We've got to be a little bit more than that. We've seen thousands of dancers. The next dance is a little different, so watch for the steps, then jump in. <sighs> These are the same. Running around her in circles. This is hilarious. <laughs> no, the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I want dancers. One last chance. Oh no! What are you thinking? Oh! Uh, you have to pull out all the stops. Don't hold anything back this time. So pay attention to my moves, then join in and don't screw up. Besides her. Ruin! No. Alright, alright, okay, okay, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. We got this, we got this. Come on, come on! Let's go, let's go! Looking good, looking very good. Feel the music, let it flow through you! No, I'm not gonna blow this for this lady. Do I get the job? Do you want me to dance some more? I can do another one for you if you want. You made it! You got the job! Welcome to the Starland Entertainers. That... That was us. You did that. No, that... was... Stressful. You need to get fitted for your outfits. We need to start rehearsals. You've got contracts to sign. Let's go. Busy, busy, busy. The life of a star. I'd, be, I'd give you a big hug, but frankly, you're a little beneath me now. Like Bib said, I'm going to be a star. She's 
shortest career ever. Um, you know what? Bear, you're right. It's gonna be short. Stop by and ask for land. 250 experience points for that. Zacks. Oh, he's the bounty office. Legal and otherwise. Bro, okay, quite well. Or are you here for information? Bernie said. Oh no, I don't want to ask him about that. Jube's gotta head to bed now. Thanks so much for hanging out. Appreciate you. Um, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Be good. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. As long as we don't end up on the list of their victims. I cannot read the text. But not all bounties are dangerous. Davik got some special contracts. One's for a girl named Dia. She attacked Holden, one of Davik's men. Another for a man named Largo, who owes Davik money. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing. But doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. Yeah. A trick. He used to work for Davik. Then he betrayed the exchange, and now Davik wants him dead. Put all this information in your data pad. I know the trick. We're gonna help him fake his own death. Um. It's simple. You find the people, you kill them, you tell me, I pay you. I know everything that's going on in Terra, so if you kill one of them, I'll know. You don't even want a finger or something. Hundred credits? Then we won't do business. I mean, I don't need your information. I feel like I got plenty elsewhere, so. Okay. Okay. Smooth criminal. I have credits. I wonder if people wouldn't talk to me if I had the Sith armor on. Bendax. Bendax Starkiller? A famous duelist. That was a large sum of money to have a cane, but he's in a little bit of the debt. He's gone into hiding. Named Selvin. She is a known assassin. There are no leads to where she may be hiding now. He is bounty. Hmm. Definitely want that plus or minus one card. Really good to have. Hidden Beck Lookout. Uh, here I can go talk to the Hidden Becks. I'm like the Chris Farley of Star Wars now? What you talking about? I'm hunting those bot those those bounties? 
Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Volker spy sent to kill Gad on Thek? A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Valkyrie gang war, Gadon has more so enemies than we used to. We're being yeah. careful about right. who we let in now. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Valkyrs or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base. Not with Zerdra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden becks are watching you. Hidden becks? Let's go. Rundi Hadonga Kuhunga B. Wana Kumbes. Jink Palam. There's no talent on any of these things. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gad? Calm down, Zandra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Valkyrs want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Valkyrs do? I will never let it come Gadden, to that. what a good guy. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Valkyr spy. Okay. All right, we're we're gonna save there. It's, it's um, it's quitting time. Whew. Uh, so what did we do today? We bought a defective droid. We went down into the lower city. We snuck down to the lower city, killed some guys, talked to a guy. Matra gonna help him fake his own death so that he can escape Zax and the bounties and we also talked to Mission and Zalbar that was nice and we helped um, a Twi'lek realize her dreams of becoming a dance star very eventful next time we'll, we'll keep exploring the lower city here we'll maybe talk to Gadden and get his thing I'm assuming there's gonna be a way for us to weigh in on the gang war and either choose the hidden Bex or the black Volkers. I'll choose the hidden Bex because they're good. Um, but yeah, Bear, thanks for hanging out. Best mod in the Citadel when Kosh isn't around. Kosh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the tier one sub. Tube, thanks for stopping by and welcoming those new folks as well. Tyler Durden and my friend Tank of Beto. Um, good to see you. Good to see you all. I'll be streaming again on Monday and Wednesday of next week. Hopefully this encoding problem solves itself, but it seems like it just spiked a couple times and it was fine otherwise. But we'll see. Everyone, have a great weekend. Go do something fun. Peace out.